Michaela Chester here for NCAA Digital. I'm joined by Dana Retke, the All-American middle blocker from Wisconsin. Dana, so great to have you on. Excited for this season that's about to start very, very soon. Wisconsin comes into the season as the number one team in the country. You guys are the team to beat. How has your team responded to this going into the season? We are super excited for that honor. I mean, we haven't played a game in a, it's actually going to be one year, one month and one day as of tomorrow. So, you know, the um, date. Yeah, I do. I remember it. <laughs> I couldn't forget it. Um, so it, it's honestly super exciting for us, a big honor, but we know we haven't really proved anything yet. And we really want to make sure that we come out um, wanting to prove ourselves, especially after last season. So we're super excited for that opportunity. Um, the message to the team right now is kind of exactly that. You know, we still have games to play. We have um, matches to win. So that's really our focus right now. We're not really so um, consumed in any rankings whatsoever, but definitely a huge honor to be recognized, especially after the season we had now two years ago. <laughs> Yeah, it has been a very long time since it seems that we saw you in the national title game. A lot of your players that are returning experienced that title game and and knew what that felt like to go all the way to the championship and then finish as the runner up. So what has your coach's message been to you guys for this season and the focus been following that title game? Yeah, honestly, just keep getting better every single day. Um, I guess skill wise coming out of um, the fall, we worked a lot of auto a lot on out of system um, because we knew that that's an area we could definitely improve in and we've gotten so much better going forward. So right now we just want to, you know, play Badger volleyball game by game, just keep our heads on the right track and um, keep going with the next game that's in front of us. And, you know, we are only playing big 10 matches this year. So that's obviously going to be a little bit of an adjustment. You really got to make sure we're strong out of the gate, but um, I have full confidence in our team to be able to do just that. So we're super excited. Last year, it felt that you guys were getting hot right towards the end of the season. You were getting better with every game peaking at the end. Now you've got like Sydney Hilly, you, Molly Haggerty all returning. What is it going to be like this year in terms of adjustment period and getting back on the court? Yeah, I mean, so far, I wouldn't say we've had much of an adjustment. I mean, coming off of a a three month quarantine where gyms are shut down. We couldn't really play volleyball at all. Like, yeah, there was an adjustment period for sure. Um, but we were really fortunate enough to be able to train all of fall um, with only a couple hiccups in the road. But for the most part, we were able to be in the gym from se semester start to semester end. So that was really awesome for us to have that opportunity to kind of get together again, play again, and um, improve on some skills that we needed to work on coming out of um, our most our, our last season but um yeah going forward we're just gonna be doing just that there are some changes from last season in terms of you lost your starting libero and tiffany clark madison duello as the senior leader that you are who can we expect to see stepping into those roles and who in the younger group has been showing up this season so far yeah we have been just the, the talent we have in our gym right now is amazing we have um, new freshmen, we have transfers. We actually have eight players on our team that are new to the program. So it has been really awesome to see how they've been able to take on roles within our team, especially after we lost so many great players in um, Tiffany, Madison Duello, and Mallory Dixon, Emmy Dodge, Sarah Dodd, um, because they were huge roles on and off the court that we really didn't need to fill. So going forward, like the the practices we've been having, the competition has never been higher. I've never seen it the way it's been since I've been here at Wisconsin. And it's just really awesome to see that if you're a starter, if you're not contributing to um, each other's improvement every single practice. So um, yeah, I think our younger players right now, um, freshmen, we have MJ Hamill, who's a setter, and then outside Jay Demps and kind of an all around player in Devin Robinson. Um, but yeah, I think each of them have the opportunity to contribute huge to our team this year. And we're just really excited to see where that kind of takes us because they've been huge. They've been a huge presence in our gym and um, along with two other transfers, Deanna Kraft and um, Georgia Chavita. So it's been really awesome to see how they've been able to make us better every day. Yeah, and we'll see it very soon. First games are this weekend. How has preparation been during this COVID era? And then also, how are you preparing for Purdue in particular? Yeah, 
Preparation has definitely been different, especially since no one has any game film. We don't have any game film of ourselves. It's definitely been different. So I just think that the biggest thing we can do is look at ourselves for self-improvement and just making sure that we are where we want to be going into the season. And again, it is kind of crazy that we are starting right off the gate in Big Ten play, but it's going to be a challenge and we're ready, we're ready for that challenge. So in terms of scouting for Purdue, kind of same situation. Don't have a lot of film. Um, going to have to be really strong in our communication and really um, kind of make it in-game to in-game adjustments. So that's kind of where we're at right now, but we've been just doing what we do best, just focusing on ourselves. Yeah, and Wisconsin fans, I'm sure very excited to see it. What do you think this team has to offer in terms of your strengths and just how you guys are looking compared to the team we saw last year? Yeah, I mean, our standards are obviously really high coming out of last season and we're not lowering the bar for anyone, even if you have new kids on the team, um, standards are still going to be the same. So, um, I mean, I think they're going to expect, you know, kind of the same same thing, gritty team, um, great serving, um, great blocking, hitting, everything. So um, we, weren't, we worked really hard throughout this whole entire year in order to get better. And um, I just hope that everyone can see that. Definitely. Thank you so much, Dana. I'm super excited to see you back on the court. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah, of course. Thank you.